Hello everyone. Welcome to Shelly's Education Center. Today in our psychology class, I am going to discuss on an overall study of personality. This is a very important topic for BA, BSc, CBCS and MA, MSc. Today, if you are new to this channel, please subscribe the channel for more updates. Be with me till the end of the class. Personality is the total quality of an individual behavior as it shown in the habits, thinking, attitude, interest and manner of acting and personal philosophy of life. It includes physical, emotional, cognitive, affective, psychomotor behavior and mental setup of a person. It is the sum of activities that can be discovered by actual observation. It is not static but dynamic in nature. With personality, an individual keeps adjusting itself to the environment. Personality means the power to have influence on other. It is self-enhancement. It consists of different traits which are independent from each other. So, Personality defines a person and it stems from person as an individual. Now coming to the main discussion. Now what is personality? The word personality has been derived from the Latin word persona which means mask used by the actors to change their appearances. It is the combination of an individual thoughts, characteristics, behaviors, attitude, idea, and habits. It is the product of social interaction in group life. People have different types of personalities because all men are not the same type. An individual's personality is the combination of traits and patterns that influence their behavior thought, motivation, and emotion. Personality is what makes each individual unique. Study of personality began with Hippocrates, a physician of ancient Greece in 370 BCE and has been studied for over 2000 years. Now, what is the definition of personality? There are different definition of personality among the psychologists such as according to Gordon Alport personality is the dynamic organization within the individual of those psychophysical systems that determine his unique adjustment to his environment according to Dunham personality distinguishes a man from other people and defines the man's general nature. Matthews and Jackson told that personality is a unique blend of individual characteristics that affect interaction with the environment and help to define a person. According to Parkinson, personality is the characteristic way in which someone responds to situations or their preferred way of behaving towards particular circumstances and other people. According to Barge, personality can be defined as consistent behavior patterns and interpersonal processes originating within the individual. Smith and Vetter told that personality is not an existing substantive entity to be searched for, but a complex construct to be developed and defined by the observer. According to Carver and Shear, personality is a dynamic organization inside the person of psychophysical systems that create a person's characteristic pattern of behavior, thoughts, and feelings. According to Sigmund Freud, that is the last definition of personality, 
personality is the combination of id ego and super ego the next is about the nature of personality personality embraces moods attitude opinions and it is most clearly expressed in interactions with other people it includes behavioral characteristics such as inherent and acquired that distinguish one person from another the three important nature of personality are psychological structure of the organism psychic structure of the organism and social and cultural structure these contribute to the formation of personality according to nature human behavior there are four types of personality as its nature these are average reserved self-centered and role model personality is individuals unique and relatively stable patterns of behavior thoughts and emotions personality is the key to adjustment and mental health it refers to individual differences in characteristic patterns of thinking feeling and behaving a personality trait is a durable disposition to behave in a particular way across a variety of situations most aspects of personality are derived from five crucial traits which are neuroticism the extraversion openness to experience agreeableness consciousness personality reflects individual differences it is consistent enduring and personality can change there are some common personality traits which are as honesty moody impulsive and friendly now about the traits the important personality traits are overview openness consciousness extraversion agreeableness neuroticism universality influential factors among these first five traits are big personality traits this is for the day and i believe you all were there till the end of the class and have gone through it very well leave me with your comment if you liked the class share and refer it to your friends and no circles that have not yet joined with the channel meet you all on my next class till then thank you